Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to walk you through how to assemble this children's toy go-kart by Alemra. Be sure to check the user guide for further details and safety information. Begin by locating all of the pieces. If anything is broken or missing, it could compromise the structural integrity of your go-kart. You can find a parts list in the user guide. Step 1. Place the vehicle body on a flat surface and remove the screws from the front of the body. Fit the protective cover over the front side of the vehicle. Use the screws that you just took out of the body to secure the protective cover. Next, turn the body over. Step 2. We're going to assemble the steering column, but first we need to cut the cable ties on the front axle linkage piece. That's the metal bar that runs between the two tires. Adjust the front axle until it is in this position. Next, pass the steering column through the hole on the RC motor, through the vehicle body, and out of the hole on the protective cover. You may need to wiggle it a little bit to get it to slide all the way through. Please note, it's essential for proper steering of the vehicle that the flat iron piece of the steering column fits into the RC motor. Slip the bent end of the steering column through the hole in the front axle linkage. Secure it with a snap ring. Then connect the other end of the axle to the front axle plate. Secure it with a screw, a washer in between the two axle pieces, another washer, and lastly, a lock nut. Step 3. Attach the front tires. You can easily identify the front wheels by the recessed hole on the back side where the wheel fits against the axle. Washer, bushing, wheel, washer, lock nut, hubcap. Putting on the front tires is easy with the provided plastic wrench. You just want to make sure you don't over tighten the lock nuts. Repeat this process on the other side. Step 4. Connect the back tires. Place one of the back tires on the rear axle, making sure the teeth slide into place on the motor. Add a washer and lock nut to the outside of the wheel, taking care not to over tighten. Snap on a hubcap and repeat this process on the other side. Next, turn the vehicle over. Step 5. Attach the steering column. Use the provided screwdriver to open the battery compartment in the center of the steering wheel. Insert two AA batteries and close the compartment. There is a single screw and nut located on the steering wheel. Remove it and slide the steering wheel over the end of the steering column. Align the holes on each side of the steering wheel with the holes at the end of the steering column and reinsert the screw. Fasten the nut until it's secure. Step 6. Attach the seat. Make sure you plug the connector on the battery into the connector on the vehicle body. To make sure there is a good connection, press the power button located on the front console of the vehicle. If the power button lights up, your connection is good. If not, try the connection again. If the vehicle still doesn't power on, you may need to charge the battery. Attach the backrest to the seat until it snaps into place. Secure it with the provided screws. Fit the seat assembly to the vehicle body. The seat has two positions, so adjust as necessary for your child before securing it in place with the provided screws. Lastly, attach the headrest by pressing it down into the back of the seat assembly until it snaps into place. Your go-kart is ready to go.